if they have the ability to make people follow, I want you guys to recognize that there's two ways to truly help somebody. The first is manipulation, while the second is inspiration. Acts of manipulation are having people fear consequences. If you don't do this, this will happen. And you see, leaders don't manipulate. Another action when it comes to manipulation is to take away to take away in order to influence individuals. If you're using the takeaway method in order to scare somebody into doing what it is that you want, you are not leading them, you are not inspiring them, you are manipulating them. You see, the problem with manipulation is that it doesn't breed loyalty, it doesn't breed trust, and it is not sustainable. You see, one of the acts of inspiration is putting people in an environment to win. You could make more friends in two months being genuinely interested in people than you would in two years trying to get people interested in you. Another act of inspiration, guys, another act of inspiration is serving unconditionally. Yes, we understand as chairman that we are not chairmen because of our own doings. We recognize that. And in order to get to chairman, you have to pay your dues. I've been in this industry for seven years, guys. I've never seen servant leadership like the one behind these barriers right here. I've never seen people put their money back into their business the way the people behind these bars do. I've never seen people spend so much time on the road, spend so much energy, spend so much spirituality on their team as the people behind these ropes. Now that people trust you, you have to make sure that they're trusting you for the right reasons. Again, we have an identity crisis when it comes to leadership. And it's hard to recognize leadership when there's so many people online flaunting cars, when there's so many people online flaunting watches, when there's so many people online flaunting a lifestyle that they may not be. And it's hard because now everybody's starting to camouflage and look the same. And people are becoming desensitized towards it. I want you to understand that if you're a leader, you have a responsibility. And that responsibility isn't to help you with your rank. That responsibility isn't to help you with your volume. That responsibility isn't to help yourself. It is a responsibility to make sure that you are leading people in the proper direction. You understand me? Because if you're trying to go chairman, guys, I promise you, 99% of your day is not about you. It's not about your loved ones. It's not about the, the things that are going on in life. Guys, we just like you go through heartbreak. We just like you go through death. We just like you go through the same exact things, doubt, insecurities, anxiety, but we have to push that aside because we got people that are depending on us. So on the same time that you can do that, that's when you're properly leading. But make sure that you're doing so with the right intentions. Make sure that you're Music doing thing. so in order to build a relationship, not a relationship. A real relationship. What do I mean by that? It's authentic. My team, my squad, this entire room, this company knows for a fact that this energy is real. 